the official unboxing and installation of the 3900X third generation Ryzen CPU. Hey everyone, so here we have it. The CPU that's still so hard to get your hands on unless you're willing to pay 50% more and go on bidding websites and other retailers where they're charging upwards of six, 760 even I've seen with outrageous shipping charges that should literally pay off for next day shipping. Such a wonderful CPU, uh, 12 uh, cores, 24 thread. I will be unboxing this and uh, installing it on the motherboard, which I've already received, uh, an X570 chipset board by MSI. I mentioned before in my last video that obviously this CPU with the BIOS upgrade will work on most, if not almost all, previous generation motherboards. Uh, in my case, it would have been actually been the X470. But I did want to actually use this CPU on the board it's actually intended for. A uh, couple of uh, reasons why, but I already did mention a few. But why not? This is actually where you actually get the best workload uh, out of the CPU itself. Um, particularly the, very likely the highest benchmark numbers and the best performance as well too. A couple of uh, other reasons there as well too, but you definitely can just uh, sum it up on your own as well too. Um, so let's go ahead and open this little box up. Just gonna put this down here, readjust a moment. And uh, I believe you're supposed to open this through the back. I promise I won't be tapping the box too much this time. I did notice that in my last video that actually personally was, uh, may have actually drove me nuts just a tad bit. So we'll just go ahead and uh, give this a uh, little slice over here. I know some people are like, what? You could have flipped this CPU <laughs> and sold it for 50% on that. My intention is actually to use this as opposed to flipping it. Taking a good look here, bunch of languages. <laughs> I actually understood too so far. Well, if you want to know the truth, it's just basically <laughs> what's up here in different languages as well too. So go ahead and do that again. If you're that curious, we'll go ahead and uh, look over here and there it is. The CPU that's still so hard to get, along with its little sticker. Now this is the first of its class, Ryzen 9, as opposed to Ryzen 7, 5, or 3. And there's definitely going to be another Ryzen 9 CPU in a couple of weeks. Uh, I believe re released for September, the 3950X, which is going to be a 16 core, 32 thread. So here she is, and uh, in actually really good condition. No, there was no damage. <laughs> I was actually joking a little bit about the little dent on this box. I mean, it is a little dent, but who cares for the most part? Uh, I'm sure there's uh, some other horrible shipping stories some people may share when it comes to computer products. So just a little manual over here. And here is the cooler itself. I noted before that I'm actually not going to be using the included CPU cooler here, though I'm sure it, it absolutely looks great. The LEDs are nice and the performance is great while the noise is actually pretty low as well, pretty common with these uh, Ryzen Wraith coolers and all other uh, generations of uh, over the first and second generation of Ryzen CPU. But I'm actually going to be using a Be Quiet cooler. A uh, pretty nice cooler that I actually did do a review on, the Dark Rock 4. And uh, But why not? Let's just go, op go ahead and open this up and just take a quick look at the cooler itself. It's the little item we'll definitely be playing with is right over here. Just focus a little bit. And benchmark numbers online so far looking really good. The important... Uh, 
performance improvement over previous generation Ryzen's are just getting better and better and better. And that's why the CPU is just sold out in pretty much every retailer you can look on. The little item we'll definitely be playing with is right over here. Just focus a little bit. And benchmark numbers online so far looking really good. The import, uh, performance improvement over previous generation Ryzen's are just getting better and better and better. And that's why the CPU is just sold out in pretty much every retailer you can look on. Also, is this little note here that uh, worth noting here is uh, this Ryzen desktop 3000 processor containing this package is compatible with all 500 series motherboards out of the box and is compatible with 400 series motherboards when a compatible BIOS update has been installed. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, I do know uh, last year when um, X370 boards were still being sold when second generation Ryzen was introduced, they did actually toss on a sticker on the box saying that it is actually Ryzen uh, second gen ready. So we'll probably start seeing uh, X470 boards and other previous uh, second generation boards uh, with uh, very similar stickers um, saying that the BIOS has already been upgraded. If you actually did pick up a board and you cannot boot because obviously your BIOS is not supporting this chip as of yet, I do know, just a note, AMD does have a little program on their website where they will actually send you a very cheapy cheapy APU CPU or whatnot so you can go ahead and plug that in temporarily into your previous generation board and update the BIOS so you'll be able to support third generation Ryzen. So that's definitely something to keep note of. I don't believe they charge for that. You just have to send the CPU back to them. So pretty nice to hear that. I know really, really top tier boards out there can actually do BIOS upgrades without a CPU, which uh, sounds amazing. Um, I actually not had my hands on a, C on a motherboard that actually does that. Also, don't worry, this box is actually pretty collectible, pretty tough cardboard. Uh, again, I just gotta fix this little dent over here. Here's the board I'm gonna be using my new CPU on, the X570 from MSI, the MEG. Um, this is the ACE version, the second uh, top tier board they release on the new X570 platform. Um, some pretty good features here. If you definitely want to check out some features this board uh, has, I did do a little review video on it. This is obviously new. And uh, we'll actually open it up, uh, install it, similar to this, and go through the BIOS. So definitely check that out. So here we are. This will just pop in here. It's always a scary moment opening these little boxes. You think I'm just going to bend one pin by accident or I'm gonna drop the sucker and it's all over for me. Fairly straightforward to install the CPU. Just go ahead and uh, locate that little triangle up here. You can go ahead and see that right there and match it up with the triangle on the motherboard. If I can just uh, get a little closer there without changing the orientation here by accident and uh, just go ahead and match those two up. And for the most part, it really just literally drops in. You can also just put your finger on the side, see if it just moves around. Obviously it doesn't. Go ahead and close your lever and you're good to go. Here's just another close-up view of the CPU with a little bit more light. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and simulate a little wonder. It's about to make a big difference here. Here's the cooler installed on the Ryzen CPU. And uh, like I said before, I'm not gonna be using the stock cooler. This is the Be Quiet Dark Rock 4 um, cooler that I, I got my hands on last year. Really amazing uh, cooler. So uh, sorry if I'm spinning the fan a lot. Let's give it one good spin, there you go. And uh, I know some temps are actually gonna be really great on Ryzen. Ryzen's actually got some pretty good temps, but I like to see when I'm doing some really hardcore video editing, what the temperature is gonna be like with uh, this particular cooler. I've actually not used this cooler on a Ryzen CPU before, unfortunately, but uh, being on the really awesome uh, third generation flagship, I'm expecting some really great results. Well, here's the processor all booted up and I already went into the BIOS. 
You can always see some details here. 3900X 12 core processor running pretty well um, on a pretty early bio state on this board. And uh, just a little temperature there, some details running at 3.8 gigahertz. No problem at all. So definitely a wonderful processor to see here. A couple of details and uh, this uh, really nice motherboard. Definitely check out the video review if you want to see some details and uh, other options available on the BIOS. And just go ahead and check that out. After booting up to Windows 10, we can see the processor information looking really good here. The entire name, 12 cores. And under the Task Manager and Performance tab, we see all the cores and threads all running at the speed, just fluctuating up and down, obviously, because I'm not doing anything currently at the moment. But you'll definitely see a lot of action here when I start doing something like video editing, video gaming, or any other really, really workload intensive stuff. Just want to also note as well, too, just with other Ryzen CPUs in Windows 10, after you install the chipset driver, the what's installed here is actually a customized AMD Ryzen power plan, one for balance and actually one for high performance, which I'll probably trigger when I'm going to do something pretty intensive. Here's a little example of the performance uh, the CPU is giving. Well, not particularly a great real world benchmark, just wanted to demonstrate here. Here's a 4K video, about a 38, 40 minute video rendering um, in Adobe Premiere Pro 2017 version. I have it at a rendering at maximum render quality, so obviously it's gonna take a little longer, and this is also 60 frames a second, so it definitely will take longer. What normally would take for about a 38, 45, uh, 40 minute video on my Intel i7 5930K would take about, I would say at least an hour and a half to two hours, actually more, more likely closer to two hours. Uh, it's now taking just a, about an hour, 15 to an hour, 18 minutes here. I already have it running for the last three, two or three minutes. It's already at 4%. Seems like the time's actually going a little faster but I think this is probably how long it's gonna take. So again, not a really good real world benchmark, but just trying to give you a little idea of the performance. I did actually give this CPU a shot in some video gaming, which I'll definitely put in another video um, with uh, frames per second and all those other details and whatnot that people like to see. And uh, have immediately seen a difference with just the motherboard and of course the CPU change. All the other hardware is the same and immediately notice a big difference. Pretty nice collection of uh, <laughs> the uh, Ryzen boxes I have over here. Um, actually, uh, I believe these three are actually 1700 core CPUs. Um, this actually is the very first one I got, the 1600, which I actually bought very shortly after Ryzen was released. And I did experiment with it on my little um, media PC in the living room you know, hooked up to a TV and acts as your little Blu-ray player and of course streaming machine and a couple of games. Back then, actually, I will tell you, I was having a couple of issues uh, using this on Windows 7. Box a little dusty. And um, quick BIOS update and chipset update um, did actually resolve that. Just, I can always go into those couple of issues, but eh, those are sad times back then for a moment. <laughs> Here's the uh, 2700, the little dusty too. Focus. And of course, another collector's box. Once I lift it up, because I just remembered, the heat sink is still inside and that sucker coils quite a bit. The third generation Ryzen, now number nine, which I'll probably put up here if I don't drop it. Uh, I feel like I'm collecting boxes here. Definitely not the shape of a Tetris block, but eh, this one I kind of like out doozy. Out those all these other CPUs. Boxes. <laughs> well, actually in both ways. The performance is just absolutely amazing. I'll definitely be posting some more videos related to the Ryzen 3rd generation 9 CPU. Um, also trying to see if I will actually get my hands on the 3950 when that is released later this year. Seems like a pretty interesting, uh, another processor to 
get your hands on and of course I'm sure that's gonna also be another tough one to get your hands on as well too this CPU is still sold out everywhere and people are still flipping it on eBay and some other auction websites as well too or just selling them with some ridiculous combos <laughs> Well, I mean, as long as it's a motherboard memory, I guess that's a good combo. But even those are sold out. So, uh, if you did get your hands on one of these, definitely uh, consider yourself lucky. I was actually lucky myself when one of my favorite vendors had it literally in stock for, could have been maybe three minutes. I have just had enough time to click on it, purchase it, and before I knew it, they were all gone. So, pretty nice collection, actually. Maybe I, guys, let me know. Maybe what should I do with these boxes? Should I keep them or should I just give them away? This one actually has a cooler inside because I did um, use a custom cooler on that particular PC, uh, PC. And all these other Ryzen boxes were CPUs I installed for family members. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely shoot a like, subscribe. I'll definitely be posting some more videos related to the new Ryzen 9. So. Uh, Definitely look forward to it and stay tuned. This isn't the only one I'll definitely be posting. Be posting some more performance. Uh, actually in uh, computer screen uh, recording, not the shaky shaky camera stuff that I usually do. And uh, of course some uh, video gaming as well too. Thanks again for watching. Again, uh, shoot a like, subscribe, shoot me over any questions you have and I'm pretty sure I know one of them, uh, one very popular question that people are probably gonna ask. Take care. Well, this is sure interesting here. Just try booting up my old drive and check it out. Windows 7, 3900X. Bunch of stuff that needed to be installed and drivers, some of them didn't work, but just needs a quick reboot. And you can actually see all the cores here. So again, stay tuned.